when you really analyze this world and the things in it, as you see on the screen, I mean, if you're spiritual, which is the best thing to be, especially in these times, spiritual in the sense of knowing the truth and having the true names of the Most High and His Son, all right, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, when you really analyze the kind of spirit that this place embodies, like this place, I, by this place I mean America, you should, or you, 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 uh, how could I say, <laughs> you would come to the conclusion that if this society, pardon, if this, if this kind of society breeds this kind of behavior in the open, what kind of behavior do they condone or do they uh, represent in private? Call Halalium, La Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rechakwadash. Double honor to the head elders, the apostles, a great millstone of which I learned this 100% truth doctrine, all right, through the Holy Spirit. All right, Shalom to you, Akim. Likewise, I have woken up and push this truth and 100% doctrine through this Holy Spirit, it's for Kakwadash, of Yahweh by Shemi Yahweh Shai. All right. Now, you see what this scripture says, right? And you see what these pictures depict. All right. Now, you got two men wearing dresses and a woman wearing, you know, a, a, a a button-up shirt and jeans like a dude. Two men wearing dresses like women and a woman wearing a button-up shirt and, and, and jeans like a dude, like a man. All right? This is the kind of spirit that America embodies, man. And if you are not vexed within yourself about this one aspect, because there's a plethora of others, man, but this one aspect in itself breeds, as the scriptures call, confusion. Confusion, confusion, confusion. And how ironic it is that the word Babylon itself means confusion. All right. Now, when you have confusion, what comes out of confusion? <laughs> Ask yourself that question. If something's already in a confused state, for example, the right is made left and the left is made right. Up is made down and down is made up. All right? And they teach this as a philosophy, right? They embed this in your minds as a normal thing. What is the outcome? You gotta ask yourself these questions. The outcome is America, but it's also distortion. Look up that word, distorted. Things, things are distorted, all right, in this world. All right? All right, and to be distorted is just to be out of order, out of place, you know, faulty, you know, weird, wrong, out of order, you know what I'm saying? Well, let's read this scripture. Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. Part of the background noise. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy power. That's very clear and straight, clear cut to the point, ain't it? Now, I'm not sure if you could really make out these, you know, other little pictures where the scripture is posted. But um, I'm going to try to make it out for you. 
because um, various brothers throughout the states, all right, have been uh, uh, um, edifying on this particular thing. For example, you see uh, Martin Lawrence, Eddie Murphy, Jamie Foxx, I believe. Yep. And uh, Marlon and Sean Waynes. These are all men dressed up as women. All right. And this is what the entertainment industry, Hollywood, all right, has uh, has made uh, the successful so-called black entertainers. In order for you to attain more uh, more success and more fame, you have to degrade yourself as a man and become a woman. And vice versa. Alright. We all know about the Martin show from the early 90s. A big hit show. Everybody and their cousin. Alright. Knows about the Martin show. And what what was one of the. Uh, famous characters. That this. Guy. Alright. Would play. Shanene. Which is a nigga woman. A ratchet nigga woman, a big mouth, super ratchet black woman, man. And I, I, I was, that's all I'm gonna say. And that's that's totally out of order. That was totally that's totally wicked. That's totally witchcraft. And you got Jamie Foxx, and I think this he put on dresses in Saturday Night Live and in Living Color. I remember these shows as a little child, by the way. Oh, you, you know, Marlon and Sean Waynes as the white girls. I've seen that movie quite a bit, too. You know? Freaking Jake's uh, playing. Oh, my goodness, man. It's just hard to even, even form the words, man. Playing as the Edomite chicks. In a damn movie, man. Oh, and then you got Tyler Perry. I don't think he's on here, but he's one of the major ones. Tyler, Tyler Scary, Tyler Perry. All right. His bread and butter is playing Medea. You see? And that's total witchcraft. And the brother, Elder Yashawamba, he did a great edification on that. That's, uh, that's... That's part of the uh, the serpent's doctrine, man. The serpent's doctrine, and that's what this is—the serpent's doctrine, man. Eddie Murphy and you know, and all of the rest of these uh, Jakes out here, and these guys that I mentioned and that you see up top—I didn't even mention these guys, man. Snoop Dogg and P Diddy, right? These guys are well known throughout the world. You know, they're well known throughout the world, man. So they're not shamed. They're not uh, shameful about it. This is something. This is a ritual, man. And that's mainly what the scripture is going into. Because what the nations would do back in the ancient world, they would, they would uh, roll, switch roles. You know, they would do all that that that, that weird, that weird, um, you know, transgender stuff. A man will put on a woman's dress. A woman will put on man's garments. Okay? And they would be, you know, doing all kinds of wickedness, man. So this is pretty much a ritual, a witchcraft ritual that Deuteronomy 22 and 5 speaks of. All right? Now, now is every woman that wears jeans or, you know, pants, if you will, or every man, well, of course, every man. If a dude puts it, that's a that's that's obvious. But in the society, you know, the standard of the society, all right, is just totally off, man. Okay, a woman is supposed to wear a dress, and pants were uh, initially made for men. They were, you know, invented for the man. All right, but here it is. 
in 2020, man, this society has gone so far into this witchcraft that it's just a normal thing to see women with jeans and spandex and you see uh, what is supposed to be men dressing up as women and calling themselves transgenders and all this madness and wickedness, man. This is what America has breeded. And this is why the Lord said he's going to destroy it from off the face of the earth, man. All right? Like the scripture says, I'm going to just quote it to the best of my ability. The scripture says, surely your turning of things upside down shall be as the potter's clay. All right? And that's your turning of these things upside down is Esau Edom. All right? The rulership, the power in America. All right? Like I was going into earlier, confusion, distortion, distorting the natural order. All right? Just, just by its very the, the very so-called dress code of America. The dress code of America, all right, for, for, for women is jeans, spandex, all right, and a, and a halter top, man. And, and not even that, you could, you know, she want to put on a, she want to put on a man's garment, she want to wear uh, some dungarees or, you know, some combat boots and be a lesbian, she could do that. And vice versa. I mean, just that very fundamental, basic thing. The order of a man and the order of a woman is totally flipped upside down. All right? So the Lord got to come and destroy this place. You see? Just from this very, this one, one law right here. And there's a plethora of other laws. And that's why the anger and the wrath of the Most High is going to burn so hot on this damn place. To burn it. Alright? And make it a lake of fire. That's all I got for now, Lord willing. This is edifying. So next one. Shalom. Yahweh Bashmiah Shai. Ratazah. All praises to Yahweh Bashmiah Shai.